Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. Uh, let's talk about fights. We're getting fights. Uh, if you're a male and you're out in public and you know, sometimes guys want to be confrontational, presumably you're not that guy because you're a champion and not a fuck boy. You're not running up on people uh, talking shit or acting crazy for trying to do something to prove. Presumably, if you're watching my channel, you're a champion. And you're, you don't have anything to prove and you're not trying to like get into uh, competitions with other males. Your competition is only with yourself or men. So not every guy is like that. We're not all champions, unfortunately. So every once in a while you'll, you'll come up to, you'll, you'll meet a guy either outside or in the gym or so a lot of times the nightclubs and they'll want to get in your face about something or they start to rah, 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 and start barking at you. You know, like those little chihuahuas, little dogs, you know? Uh, Little dogs, you know, they always, ah! the little weakest dogs are always the loudest, you know what It's like that in real life, right? The loudest person in the room is the weakest person in the room. So, I'm telling you a tactic to deal with this person. I actually had to deal with it recently. I was walking with my boy, Max from RSD. We were just filming some videos and we were talking. I think Max was kind of cursing about something or whatever. He was talking. See, I know he had the microphone. And then some guy was in uh, front of us. He was with his, uh, wife and he said, hey, there's, there's kids here. You understand that? There's kids here. I said, where do you see kids? Man? He said, the kids everywhere. And then he started yapping. And then this, this is what you do to neutralize the situation. It work, it's going to work 95% of the time. Now, mind you, this, this little guy probably could have knocked him out. Uh, I probably could have fucked him up. Or maybe he could have fucked me up. I don't know. But I wasn't intimidated. But I wanted him to know I was serious. So here's the technique you can use. It's called the death stare. What this does is, one, it shows a person you're fucking serious. You're not fucking around. But it also gives them an out so they can retreat. They can fall back and still save face. All right, so what you do is, you just stop talking. That's more important. Stop talking. All that, I, nothing, there's nothing I hate more than two guys in each other's face barking argh, like two little chihuahuas at each other. For one, it, you know, talk is cheap. People only respect action. Right, so I'm like, are you guys gonna fight and knock each other out or not? And then two, if you do have to get an altercation, you've actually wasted a lot of energy, uh, emotional energy and like physical injury with all that. Ah, all right. You might want to conserve that for the for combat. If you're serious about combat, most of the guys who do it yapping aren't. So this is what you do: death stare, shut the fuck up, just look him in the eye. Look him in the eye, all that yapping. Maybe take a step forward too. Take a step forward so he knows you're not fucking around. And look him in the eye. And shut the fuck up, no matter what he says, shut the fuck up. Because what this says is, yo, you're going to do something. Got to go, we'll now, the, got thing, the thing is, the thing What's is up? with this. Kids around here. Oh, sorry. The, yeah, the, got it? Got it. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about that. Kids Where do you so see the, the kids? The thing about that is oh, that oh, women right have there? something that's called around, around, buying temperature. Buying temperature. Buying temperature, buying temperature, you know, you and know, buying you're temperature you're can be no, 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 literally no. transferred from one girl to the other. So in temperature can be no, 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 literally no. transferred from one girl to the other. So when Brand Carter talks to a girl, just like this guy's buying temperature, I like, to do that shit. like, when motherfuckers gonna do, it's like it always stops after I like I stop like if you want to talk about it. And just like, I mean, this guy. And I, I mean, just stop. Uh, I go, <laughs> And they all, they all, like any kind of altercation. You do that with girls as well? Yeah, it's, it's kind of hot when you do that. I'm just, I get aroused. <laughs> Let them know you're serious, do something. But you haven't exacerbated the situation. You haven't put him in a position where he can't back down, right? It allows him to back down while still saving face. Because he can go later go say to his friends, man, yeah, he ain't even do nothing. He ain't even do nothing, right? And he can not look like a chump. Right, that's important because if you back him into a corner where you had no, and now you have to fight. And mind you, it's not about being scared to fight. It's about you want to avoid fighting, especially in public places, because you will probably go to jail for it. You'll get locked up, and even if you don't go, like get convicted of a crime, spending going to jail, getting put in handcuffs, and going to squad car, it's not fun. I know because it's happened to me a few times, and it sucks. Or just being. Uh, especially in New York, Central Bookings is the worst place. I haven't been everywhere in the world, 
or everyone in America, but I imagine that Central Booking is the worst, the worst place in America to be. They, they chain you up to these other motherfuckers and put you in the way. It's not fun. Even if you beat the case or don't get charged with anything. Last time I didn't even get, I, I got arrested, I didn't even get charged with anything. So anyway, getting arrested sucks. Uh, you don't know what the other person's capable of. It's just not smart. It ruins the night. You, uh, apparently, uh, I would imagine you went out to have fun. It ruins the night. So the death stairs, perfect, perfect move. It gives, it lets them know you're serious. So you don't feel or look like a bitch, right? And it gives that person a way to retreat and still save face. It's just, it's, it's a more mature way to know. Some people say, hey, oh, I'm sorry, man, or just back. I'm not telling you to back down. I'm actually telling you to step up because what your eyes say is, what the fuck are you gonna do about it? But you don't have to say that with your mouth because if you say that with your mouth, then you put him in the corner. You don't get allow him to leave without saving face. You know, uh, your eyes say it, and he knows it. And even if you're a weak guy, even if you're a skinny guy, even if you've never been in a fight before, you don't know anything about combat. And even if you're, you, it might psych the person out. Because even if a little guy looks at me like that, and just stays there and doesn't say anything, I might think to myself, fuck, <laughs> why is this motherfucker so calm and confident? You know what? Man, whatever. <laughs> like, I might do that. So anyway, that's it. Put it in your arsenal. You don't want to fight. It sucks. Getting arrested sucks. Uh, killing someone sucks, right? If I get in a fight, I'm probably, if someone puts their hands on me, I'm probably going to fight to their death. It's not going to be a thing like, we're just going to fight and see who wins, who wins the fight. No, I'm gonna fight. If you put your fucking hands on me, I'm gonna fight until the death or until uh, we get arrested. The, the police break it up or something. So I won't get into a fight, I'll get into a kill. And that's not fun. You know, I'm sure that's not fun. Legal cases, legal with That's there to eliminate 99% of your problems. Thanks. Yo, we're doing a new coaching program. 30 days of greatness. And every morning, I'm gonna give you a different key to help you accomplish your inner greatness, to help bring it out of you. And I'll be doing Q&As and answering questions. And you'll be able to send your questions in before. That way, if you can't make it to that morning session, you'll be able to watch the replay. All right, this is only for people who join the 30 Days of Greatness program. But on top of that, I'm throwing in a lot of dope bonuses. I'm throwing in free copies of my books and never before seen footage of me and some of my friends, colleagues, mentors, people who I look up to, people who I respect. I filmed a ton of masterminds with those people. So it's gonna be hours and hours of bonus footage that's only gonna be available to the people who join 30 Days of Greatness. It takes 21 days to build a habit. I'm throwing in nine extra ones. I want you to become great. I want to bring that out of you. And if you already are great, let's become greater. There's always room for improvement. Let's do this. Let's do this together. All right? Click the link below to sign up, man. Watch it back in the shower.